Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, guten Abend, uh, Damen und Herren. Willkommen Sie. Um, my name is Sung Hun Kim. I will be your host for this event. Uh, this is um, welcome to the ICAO's international, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, AN Conference uh, 13. Um, this is the 18th session that we're having, day four, uh, afternoon session. Um, before we begin, I want to tell you that uh, regardless of industry, the only thing that's constant in, in, in the world is, is change. Um, now, due to, due to the advent of the internet and uh, satellite communication, as well as um, uh, computers, we're seeing a, a natural paradigm shift from uh, aeronautical information service to aeronautical information management because there's so much data to handle. Uh, this is where Peter Rudolph, founder of, and manager of director of ASBU for Future comes in. He is hopefully not uh, striving not only to become one of the leaders in this field in, in Germany or in, in, or in Europe, but uh, to be one of the global leaders in ASBU solutions. Please welcome Mr. Peter. Uh, uh, thank you, Sun, for the um, introduction. Um, thanks to ICAO that we can uh, speak here. It's quite new, uh, interesting, exciting. Um, I took a little bit advantage of the casual Friday because I have to catch a flight and maybe I speak a little bit uh, quicker. Um, yes, ASBU, ASBU for future. Aviation system block upgrades uh, is this uh, big acronym and when we um, find, found uh, the company basically three years um, ago. We were looking for a name. What is a good name, which is a little bit known in the uh, field and which will stay for a longer period of time, maybe 20 years or something like this, and we came uh, to this name. And now no one knows us because we are new. And so who are we and how can we support you? And a little bit referencing um, what ICAO is doing in uh, different fields. Um, I structured a little bit the presentation, uh, where we are, who we are, uh, what we offer and how we do it. This might be interesting and then a little bit other stuff at the end and especially also showing that we're doing voluntary support uh, to ICAO in, in panels because there, from there we're getting a lot of information what we're then trying to understand and uh, to use. Yeah, we are uh, in the very south of Germany. It's a very beautiful, it's a holiday uh, area. It's the Lake Constance, a very big lake. This is drinking water. Uh, basically, 480 cubic kilometer water, which is very clean. So this means we have an interest in what ICAO is doing with the ASBUS, with the PBN. So, I mean, saving the environment, this is a very big thing, which is happening uh, over there. So there is no dirty water anymore going in this lake. So really, after a little filtering, we're drinking it. So I think we see here um, the importance of uh, PBN and other environmental initiatives in uh, ICAO. So we are affected. It's an aviation area in Germany. So, I mean, Claude Donnier, some still know the name of Dornier and Zeppelin, the old airships, this comes from Sam. Until that time, uh, constantly uh, aviation industry um, is located on the North Shore um, of this uh, lake. Um, as I said, we were founded in, or we founded ourselves in January 2016. Basically, this was normally my end of the uh, yeah, working time. But then I desired, it's such an exciting time now. We have so many changes in the world, in aviation. And uh, maybe I can reuse my experience, my know-how. It's really long uh, with ICAO, with uh, ASOS. I was also working in CAAs and things, now industry. So uh, let's try uh, to continue and also to try in the company to give um, know-how, experience to the younger generation. This is very important. So that's why I'm the oldest in the company. Then we have very young uh, um, um, uh, people. Our activity um, is related to the air navigation plan, but I think this is the future. This is where we want uh, to head to. And the important thing is um, to identify what is now and how can we get there. So basically, this is the idea to help um, all sorts of possible customers uh, 
yeah, to make their plan on this and we can help. And we include the military. Um, actually, in Germany, this is already in the, in the planning to exchange aeronautical data with the military flight plans anyway, and so we also um, including them. So it's not ICAO, but we also see the ICAO initiatives to include the military, and I mean, there's something also going on. So we don't exclude them. What are we offering? I mean, <laughs> on the first um, view, you could say, okay, these are silos, and this is a little bit of the problem of today. We have a lot of silos in the ANSPs in the industry. It's getting better. But with the swim approach, for instance, with the system-wide information management, with the paradigm shift in AIS, now AIM, what we especially have now documented, documented as SOPs in the Annex 15, edition 16, and uh, depends AIM, um, we have data described, we have processes described, we have quality management better described, and these data are needed uh, across all domains. So, I mean, this arrow uh, down these uh, silos, I mean, this is, can symbolize that we really need to share the data. And th the question is how to do it. No? It's very difficult at the moment uh, for some organizations, even when a lot of money is involved, and this is what we are trying. So, the ASPU concept, the system blocks, there, this is where we want uh, to go there. Then maybe to start with this AIS to AIM, because this is now very nicely as SOPs described in the, uh, in the ICAO system. The aeronautical data are very well um, structured, and structured, and the centricity of data, not that everyone is collecting its own data, say, okay, we have a cent central database everywhere with all the data, and then we're giving them to different um, applications. But the interoperability, which is behind this, uh, is not only on the technical level, it is also on the organizational level. So this means between states, between organizations, and then down to the technical level. So this concept um, is also for the management between organizations. So this is uh, what we do. And then down further, when you look uh, up to, for instance, to um, PBN, I mean, for PBN, we need uh, these aeronautical data. Um, and but how to get them into seamless into these other systems? So this is one of our main uh, concept, main wish, main um, offering. Uh, how do we do this as a basic consultancy um, company? We are assisting with strategic planning. So we're looking what is available, where do the customers want to go, and then we're helping uh, setting up uh, the strategy or simply an analysis, just um, to look make an analysis, maybe making a concept suggestions so they can, uh, that they can um, build off uh, impact assessments, for instance, for the new regulations are coming. What is the impact on a given environment? It's another thing uh, what we actually uh, do. And implementation um, support, when it's, little, when it's get a little bit more um, clearer than uh, the implementation. So basically these um, four um, areas, uh, the methods, um, how we do this. An example um, from the S AIS side, um, initially important is when to start now with all these changes we, which becoming applicable um, in November 2018 to understand what are the changes. There are not many uh, changes, but then immediately after this looking for the natural allies in the country who is affected to come together because talking to each other, making a common plan. So what do I need from, what do you need from me? What do I need uh, from you? Involving the regulators, they have sometimes uh, different views. And to start this collaboration from really from the beginning, this is needed uh, when we want uh, to implement uh, this um, edition um, 16 uh, of the Annex 15, and especially this uh, PENS AIM, which goes in a very much uh, detailed uh, down even um, to some kind of data set uh, uh, structure. Then to initiate, we initiating uh, workshops where this uh, discussion then is done, and then a work plan uh, will be uh, driven, and then with steps by steps going. But this goes uh, over years, and until now, I would say, with all these customers, we have not really finalized this because it's complicated and it's um, 
it's massive. Um, a big problem is to uh, explain that we have here a paradigm shift. This means from isolated working uh, to collaborative working in the daily life and to implement processes which are really uh, defined with responsibilities for different phases uh, of the process. This is even on the process level, on the working level, this is not easy. And when it comes to implementation, then uh, different systems from different um, suppliers are involved. And, and this is really um, a challenge. But I think this is a kind of a method uh, how to approach it. But this means talking from the one on the organizational level. So currently we have the situation, there's a procurement, there's a procurement, there are two procurements, and then at the end they're trying to connect, and then the problem is starting because uh, it doesn't interface um, really on the data uh, level. This, the system is known, I mean, plan, do, check, act, this sounds very simple, but it's not. No? So it gets, gets much. With the military, uh, it is, um, Similar, more important than exchanging with our experience, uh, when start exchanging uh, data with the military, it must be very clear from the beginning, because it's not regulated by ICAO, uh, where are the data exchange points to the, to the military and what is the contents. So th this, is, this is essential, So because not simply the ICAO rules um, 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 applicable. Uh, and then basically, um, we have the same approach, and this works, uh, I think, we have starting points, I would say, in Germany, where this starts uh, to work, for instance, a uh, connection of the different German military systems uh, to the European AIS database, this is working uh, quite well, but each military system is uh, connected um, individually to this um, AIS database uh, from Eurocontrol, and also uh, it starts uh, with what is called in Europe uh, the network manager. This was the former central flow management unit. So this is then about f a flight plan and, and um, the ATM um, messages, DOC 4044. Uh, this is also, I mean, uh, starting. And this becomes, I think, much more um, important to have good uh, over, uh, interoperability rules here um, between the civil applications and the military applications, especially in sense of aeronautical uh, data, NOTAM, and uh, also for uh, 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 flight plans. And when we now approaching, for instance, the FFIS-1 as additional messages uh, in this area, I think then it becomes even more um, yeah, important. Um, we are a small company, as I said, uh, that's why we're trying to build a knowledge network with um, other people where, where we have good relations to, good connections to. So if additional know-how is needed or we have more work to do, what we cannot do uh, by ourselves, uh, this is what we're trying uh, to build, to use uh, this network uh, then together. On. These are all sometimes smaller companies, we can combine our know-how, which is sometimes very specialized. Um, and uh, this is also, I would say, one part of the culture what we are uh, trying. So also to have interoperability um, with, no, with people who have know-how, um, what we need, or also the other way around. And sometimes uh, others are coming asking here, can, do you not have this know-how? Can you help us here in, uh, in this um, activity? Um, these are basically uh, let's say the know-how areas where we are uh, have really know-how. Uh, you can see very classical terms what we have over years. Of just yeah, aeronautical information service for long years. I think I was working in this area already in the 70s, so it's really a long, long time. So, but then also we are ending up with some uh, more modern, more um, actual things like. Um, exchange models for aeronautical data, exchange models uh, for, for flight plans, also all for, for, for vessel messages. Uh, I think this is also a know-how we have. So I mean, we have, so this, this uh, let's say this bridging no, from the, let's say the old one to the new, um, to the new things, I think this is, uh, I would say, really uh, the know-how here. And um, we think uh, this is, might be interesting 
for CAAs, for ANSPs, uh, also for, in for industry or for others who might need uh, help. So this is basically uh, our uh, idea, and especially to bring the knowledge together. This is often uh, a problem that we do not have enough. And I, I say this when I was in industry and also when I was working in ANSP, sometimes it's not easy really to get the knowledge. And now in this rapid changing world as today, the changes are so quick and you, you can't go to school. So no one teaches you this. So you need to find it out. Okay, what is ICAO is doing in Europe? What 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 is your control doing, or the European Union is doing? So sometimes it's um, yeah not harmonized. So I don't say it's not um, con contradicting um, each other. So I think here we want uh, to step in, and uh, hopefully uh, we can make a contribution. I, I don't talk about this. I mean this is a little bit uh, the idea what I have with this knowledge network that we're working all together, same under same, and putting our know-how uh, really um, together. Um, so in fact, we're trying to help then to create a plan, a scene with customers, and then to help to provide and um, exercise it. So that, that's it's all. It also sounds uh, simple. The devil is in the detail, but um, it is, the vision we really um, want um, to use. Um, in summary, maybe li looking a little bit from, a, from the other side, um, basically uh, what we're trying uh, to sell is that we can help to get ICAO conform in certain areas, which means we have SOPs, we have PENs, guidance material, and to help what are good steps to do this, always taking into account that there are existing processes, existing uh, systems, or ex existing uh, working um, methods, um, planning, implementation. And then, uh, really, in, for instance, practical speaking, we do process modeling. If someone has not modeled the processes, what is often the case, we can help modeling. Um, organizing workshop, we're also doing training in some um, extent. And when we look on the right side, uh, we, we basically we see uh, five uh, tree angels. And I think this is the, the, the four ones which have a name. The, the third one is, is around this. Uh, the, these four, I think this is for us uh, the key. Because at the same time, when a new SARPS comes, a new process description, a new requirements comes, um, potentially and mostly also, in fact, all the four are affected. So personnel, we immediately have something to train because it's new, it must be trained. Then we have new processes. So the personnel is working with these processes. So there is a, there's a, a, a strong um, interface between personnel and processes. And finally, uh, it might be depending uh, that software which is already running in the systems needs to change. And even sometimes hardware needs uh, to change. So I mean, we have to take care about all these four areas at the same time when the paradigm shift comes. And I think this is also where the industry is faced with, the manufacturer, they have the same thing. Because they're implementing the processes, they're delivering the software and the hardware, and then the personnel needs to work with this. So it's uh, basically, it's the same um, three angel for all of us. All of us, CAAs, ANSPs, airlines, the same, and um, also for uh, industry, for suppliers, and basically for each company which is uh, doing um, consultancy like uh, ourselves. Um, we are new, we are young. Uh, so we do not have so much uh, customers yet, um, but we have some, and it's exciting with them. Also military customers is more exciting sometimes. Uh, and we're trying to connect with membership to uh, associations. So RTCA, for instance, um, is a good thing. We're working with them also for quite a long time. I worked with them for quite a long time in uh, committees. Uh, BDLI, German Aerospace Association, is not so known really uh, here. Maybe I should have put on here the ICC AIA because through BDLI, we're working also in the ICC AIA ATM uh, 
uh, CNS ATM company, not so much at the moment, but a little bit more time, uh, Kanso and Ifima. This is important for having exchanges in ICAO, we can't become a member because we are industry, it's not possible, but we are very happy that we can attend um, events now like this uh, to engage, to learn uh, new things, um, what we then can take um, into account. Um, very important um, for this work, I, I, uh, this is what I believe in a, a consultancy company, is the voluntary uh, support to organizations like ICAO and Eurocontrol. And um, to basically to support ICAO panels and working groups. So this is also what we are uh, trying. And we, are we have supported over the years the AIS to AIM study group in, in ICAO, really developing this, uh, help developing this um, Annex uh, 50 independence aim with the, with the paradigm shift and now also um, helping um, how is it going with uh, SWIM. I mean, we have the information management panel which is working on SWIM. And this is, this is a voluntary work. I think is a, a input, it's also a sufficient input, the industry view which comes uh, around the table together with the CAAs. And, and this is very nicely working uh, now since uh, some years now to that we can, that we are able uh, to do this support. So it is a little bit our training as well, no? because you don't get it in school. You can learn it here, how it's moving, and then you can, can, can use it. So this is a very good thing. And we're doing it um, in Europe um, as well with Eurocontrol. There are change control boards now for certain data formats. So you, 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 can, you can help there, you can make your judgment, is it good or, 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 or not good. So you are engaging also with uh, Sam. So there's a whole lot of interoperability on this working um, um, relationship. So um, this is a good uh, thing. Yeah, and with this, I would uh, conclude this. You can uh, happily contact us or you can also ask a question and we are looking uh, really forward um, to work with you. And thank you very much. And if you have questions, I'm I'm here and also not for another five minutes because I have to catch a flight. Thank you very much. <laughs>